Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the BMW Tactical Pens, the Slim Bolt Action from Tactile Turn. This is certainly one classy writing implement and we're going to put it up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's get right into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets gear and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment, drop a like, and subscribe for more content like this. First up is price, and the base model for this pen comes in at $99. If you're feeling really saucy, you can even upgrade that all the way up to $370 for the tricked out zirconium model. I remember showing this to one of my friends, and they're like, what does it do? And I'm like, it's a pen. It writes. That's it. I certainly love the feel and quality of this pen and that it's made in the USA. However, I feel that that higher price point might deter a couple of people who are interested in slipping this into their pockets. It is for this reason, I give it a two out of five on pricing. Now let's see what that money gets you with functionality and design. For this review in particular, we're gonna be taking a look at the five and a half model because I wanted something that I could use to trap and flow with if I had to use it in a personal protection situation. They do come with different models being titanium, copper, bronze, and zirconium. The diameter on this pen comes in at 0.365 inches and comes with a Pilot G2 7 millimeter refill. One thing I really like about the Tactile Turn website is that they listed out all of the refill options that'll fit with each of their pens. I'll make sure to include the link to their website and the refill page and just know that some of the refills do require a little bit of trimming. Now keeping this pen easily accessible is the titanium pocket clip that's held in with two screws. A subtle touch is I like the engraving they did on the underside of the pocket clip to keep the outside look very sterile. To get this pen moving, it has a short throw bolt on the side, which is actually very satisfying to click and play with. Working our way up to the top of the pen, I really like how they went with the smooth surface, which is a perfect cap for your thumb. And this makes it comfortable for repeated strikes in a self-defense manner. Now on to what I believe is the main selling point for tactile turn, it is their extraordinary grip. It is seamlessly milled from a solid piece of titanium and the craftsmanship on this pen is out of this world. When I say seamless, I mean seamless. It is impossible to tell where the tip of the pen starts to unscrew it for refills. Now onto some things that I wish were enhanced. For me, it's that pocket clip. Personally, I think it rides a little bit too high in the pocket, especially for a slim, compact pen. It really just sticks out and protrudes quite a bit. I would also like to see some of that texturing onto the titanium bolt action. I think it would add a little bit more grip when actuating and releasing that pen. On the same note of the action, I wish the tip came out a little bit further. As it sits right now, it looks a little stunted to me. I would have loved to see the tip come out a little bit further, as you can see here. The Pilot G2 insert pen refill right super smoothly, and that's no surprise there, which is why this gets a four out of five on functionality and design. All right, next up is dependability. One of the main factors why I love this pen so much is because it is so robust. With other cheaper pens, I've experienced the pocket clip bending or snapping off completely, and that is not an issue with this one. I really feel that even in stressful situation, this pen will have you covered, which is why it scores a five out of five on dependability. Next up is versatility. This pen is plain and simple, yet it excels at writing because it is so smooth with a great balance and fidget factor, not only for spinning and twisting, but also that bolt action is fun to play with for hours. Now this pen certainly has a lot of capability for writing and self-defense, but at $40, you can get a Hobo Tactical Penetrator, which does relatively the same thing and looks classy on its own right. Because that increased versatility has an impact device that can go through a variety of areas, it scores itself a three out of five on versatility. All right, last up is carryability. I really like this slim model because it's virtually unrecognizable in the pocket and very comfortable to carry. Because of the tacky mill titanium finish, it is very easy and repeatable to deploy. For me personally, I would have loved if the pocket clip was raised up so it would sit a little bit deeper in the pocket. On a couple of occasions, I bent down and kicked it out a little bit and found it swimming at the bottom of my pants. Now again, these are just my personal thoughts. It makes it a lot faster to grip if you need to deploy it to get someone off of you or strike something. And on that same note, I've also found it easily actuated with that bolt on the left or right hand. The tumbled finish on the pocket clip is beautiful and it hides a lot of wear or scratches that may occur from carrying it. It fits right at home from chest to pants pockets and because of this titanium one, it is extremely lightweight and relatively unnoticeable. I also like that you can carry this into a variety of non-permissive environments because of how clean and beautiful it looks. It is for this reason that it gets a four out of five on carryability. Overall, the Slim Bolt from Tactile Turn scores itself an 18 out of 25 and is a 72% pass on the Tactical Tavern test. If you enjoyed this review and you found value from it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.